Hey everyone, it is Susie and Happy New Year. Uh, first video of the year. Yay! <laughs> so, um, anyway, first video of makes for the year. I have actually done a video for my uh, Sophie's Notes group. So, uh, but anyway, Happy, Happy New Year. Looking forward to a new year. Um, just uh, new projects and things like that. Can't wait for it all. And so anyway, what I have done this time is I have five of these old, old books that I have actually just made blank. They've just got different various pages in them. They are all two signature. Uh, I think I used around 10 folded papers or you know folded uh, pieces uh, for the signatures uh, maybe between 10 and 13 I can't remember four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I used around 13 uh, folded uh, pages or different things to make each signature. So each has two signatures. So I have one a little oddball here. This is a very old uh, this is an educational music course and it's even written where the U's were the B's um, so I'm not sure what the date is on this. Um, it's a third reader it says but I don't know what the date is. So, But it's a very very old book. But that one will be a little different than the four that I have here. So what I have is I have four um, really old books and uh, they are in the Etsy shop and they are simply titled what they are right here. That is how they are titled. So each um, of these four have two signatures right at 13 signatures a piece they will all be tied with the little vintage buttons there in the center of each signature um, I have added some images and uh, let's see where I put hold on here I had there we go so I knew I had it written somewhere how many I had. So this is, the spines are not um, done on the outside. They are hidden, hidden stitched for your um, signatures being in. So there's nothing showing on your spine on any of these. Uh, this one here is the only one that has this little kind of a crease in the back of the book. But it is not uh, compromised on the inside. So it's not bendable. Um, but you can kind of see it right here on the outside. Uh, but it did not comp uh, compromise the book at all. So um, each one is going to come with 10 of the little scrappy tabs. And I don't know if you've seen these or not or seen me use them. These are just some little uh, papers that I had used actually in the in the signatures. And I just made some, and, and uh, they just made the little scrappy um, tabs for you. I've left the strings along there. You can use them in this book or use them in your other projects. You get 10 of those. I made some little paper ruffles um, with some of the just pieces from uh, what I was using there for the signatures. Just my scraps. So there's some little scrappy paper ruffles. There'll be seven of those that come with it. Then I've added 17 uh, photos and six words, and all four of these will have the same photos. So I will kind of, they will have the bigger ones, like um, these, and these are actually just some that I have in the shop. All I did was just print out those that I had in the shop. and and uh, So you have some big photos there. You have some... Um, they're still big, but they're a little smaller than that first batch. There's that, and then I've added some little, uh, little photos here as well, just for the smaller things that you want to do. So uh, in your book, um, I've got uh, a few words here that I've cut out um, of the um, printables that I did. 
postcard suite. So um, you'll have the, the words and you'll have the photos. You can use them in your book or you can just use them in another project. But they will come with your with your um, your book. So you got 17 photos and 6 words. And then I uh, actually had purchased some of these um, vintage um, envelopes here. And um, so you'll have those. And then you'll have two of the little... Um, tea bags that I've just stamped some uh, stamped some of the uh, script writing on. So that will come with it right there. So that just gets included in your in your book. Now a lot of it I they're just going to be the same so I'm not going to reshow the photos or anything. I'll just kind of go in and show you uh, some of the pages here. Now this is the only book that I was able to use uh, the actual uh, contents. I used the first two pages and I put them in there and stitched them, you know, stitched around them. So this one is the only one that has that, but it has some of the speckledy paper, crumbly paper. It will have its tea dyed. It just all different various, various vintage uh, papers. Bag. I've got a little bit of a, like an onion skin bond type paper there. This has a little pocket. Now, I did not glue these shut. I, I just left that for whoever wants to do that. You can glue it shut or not. So, and then I have an old vintage shorthand book paper there. Like I said, they all have the vintage buttons in them. Some graph paper. Here's that other. You can make it a pocket. If you don't want a pocket, you could actually cut that and just make it a flip up. So, this is just some old, um, I don't know what kind of paper that was, that graph paper there, but I found some of it at a, a bag at a um, thrift or a antique store. And so, I put it in there. There's some of that grungy paper. Here's your second signature. Um, just some dictionary page. Same thing. Whoops, it's going to have a bag, graph paper. There's some old ledger. Actually, it's not that. It's 93. I mean, it's old, but it's not terribly old. Um, well, Hey, I guess if you're young, that's terribly old. Uh, so, around 30 years old. Maybe you're getting close to 30 years old. There's the center of the signature. There's just some little paper there. And there. There's a little Frisco paper. There's some... And it looks like I need to... I'll just do this. Sometimes when you're trying to get your signatures... Um, to fit in the book. All of them don't quite cut off like they should. There's that. There's your bag. Piece of that. And there is that. And each book is going to have this fabric. That's how I attach the spine with some trim. And I did reinforce it with a you know, reinforce that spine so that it's nice and sturdy. If you see it split, it's not going to come apart. It is actually all glued to that cover. So we don't have to worry about it coming apart. All right, there is that one. And, of course, that is the Rosamond. Oops. Let's get those put back with our... Like I said, there's those little... They just have little photos, the bigger photos just so that you're able to um, have a variety of size there. So, okay. All right, and then this is the hidden hand. <clears throat> and like I said, there's your fabric, there's your, your trim, and that spine is hidden. Here is the spine. I just love these old books. And like I said, you don't have to worry about the books coming apart, even though you see the splits, because they're not going anywhere. I have literally glued that fabric 
to your to your uh, covers and I have reinforced the spine so it's not going anywhere and then here are uh, just some of the paper and like I said I use mainly most of the same type of papers now this one has a uh, envelope for a place for you to tuck something um, it will not have the bag there's a little Frisco delay uh, report paper there's our center with our little vintage buttons. Just a fun, fun journal. I just wanted to make some blank ones. I hope that I have the time to get into making a few more blank journals because I think it's fun for those who want to do their own decorating, but they just can't put the book together. And so that is why I made these just for that reason, because so many people love to decorate their own journals. They don't want to purchase one decorated, but um, they just don't have the time, or it's too frustrating, or they just can't figure out the tutorial when they watch it, how to get those um, put together. And uh, so this was just something that I wanted to do this year and make sure that I got some out there for anybody who who wants to do that. So here is this one. Um, just fun, fun, fun. And there's a lot of pages. I mean, you'll end up with a pretty thick little book if you, you know, if you get to collaging and things um, in here. So, okay. And then, and like I said, all the goodies are the same. I mean, your papers may vary as far as these uh, in your tabs. They may vary, but I mean, it's just going to be with some of the papers that have been in the uh, in the uh, book that I've used. And then, of course, there's your little... But, but all the photos are identical. So, okay. And then um, with this one, here is your little fabric and then your little trim there. And just pretty basic... Um, same way here, this one has the one that I did not. This one has a brown paper bag instead of, um, instead of the glassine. But here are your, like, dictionary page. Now, I do hope to get some blank journals made with, uh, some different, um, more bold, flowery, different things, maybe out of magazines. Um... Is what I hope to do. It's that little bag uh, where it has a little color in it and not so much just the uh, grungy, you know, ephemera type pages. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done. I'm not sure what I would use for the covers yet on things like that. Um, I do have a lot of vintage books, so I uh, I use some masking tape for that. But I do have a lot of old books, and I don't know, some of them, I, I haven't noticed the must smell on these, but I had worked with some old books, and maybe I've just gotten kind of used to the, the little bit of mustiness. So there may be a little bit of mustiness smell uh, to these some of these papers, as well as um, just the old book in general. So, that's that, and then... There is that, and you're back in your book. Here is the sp uh, spine. This is man's place in nature. <laughs> so, when I go out thrifting or go to the antique stores, I'm always looking for these old books. I just want to, like, rescue them. So, I love those old books. Absolutely. Uh, this one is called A Wasted Love. Don't know how old it is, but look how grungy the spine is. That is just, that wasn't me that did that. That's how it came. Here is the back. Um, I kind of, this is a really good picture on this one, though. It's got real good color. Most of these did have. So, just once again, all your varied papers. There's that. This, this came from an old telephone company. I bought a book, and so I've been using a lot of those 
uh, papers out of there. This I um, used my stamp on for some script there. There's just some little buttons there in your signature. That's just some onion skin, kind of like your bond paper. And then there's a little bag there. There's that other part of that. My sun is coming through. I'm getting a real shadow. I can see. There is that. And so here is the center, and this is your second signature. Old uh, shorthand book, dictionary page, very grungy bag there. There's your buttons. A little flip out. And there's another place I put that stamp in this signature. So there is that and of course your tabs and your ruffles and your envelopes and your your um, photos. Okay, so those are those four. Uh, those are all Identical. You get the same amount of the um, of the paper ruffles and the scrappy tabs and and that. So uh, this one here is a little bit different. So this one here is um, you've got your buttons kind of hanging out of your signatures there. Um, you can tell the paper is coming over the coming over the book, and that's okay. That's the way I planned that. Um, this was actually already on the front cover. I did not cover over it. Um, you can tell here. I'll probably glue that down. I got a little a little piece here. I'll probably glue down. I didn't notice that. I'll glue that down. But you just have some various papers. Now this came wrapped in something from the Hopeful Bird, so it will actually have creases in it. But this one is more of your junky journal. This is just an old uh, Frisco receipt I had. And there's some parchment, music. These papers are very, very different sizes. Uh, which is what I was gearing to on this. You get, this is a very large piece of that old ledger. And here is an envelope. There is your signature tie. This one here will come with a few pieces of ephemera. So you're going to get this just junked up tag, a couple of jump, junked up tags or dyed up tags, a couple of shorthand uh, book pieces, and then, now these do have a little bit of a musty smell to them. These are some uh, old um, pieces of ephemera. I got these from my niece. Uh, she had purchased them. They were out in an old, old barn, I think is what she told me and so um, I've had them for quite a while and I cannot get the smell out so um, I know a lot of people don't mind that musty smell it's just part of age but then some people do so I just want you to know that that definitely has that little bit of a uh, old old smell to it so and we'll just put those in there and then here we go again this had some kind of pink on it. I have no idea. It probably ran from a... It almost looks like it ran from another color. You know, a page off another color. Must have been stored with it at one time. And so here is this first signature. We're coming to an end. Now this one here, I included some paper ruffles. I included um, some of the scrappy tags. Now I didn't include as many. Um, this one... Um, it looks like it has about five, and um, there is the scrappy tabs, uh, two, three, four, five, six, looks like about six scrappy tabs that you can use here that will come with it. I have a couple of these vintage envelopes. Now these do, they're not, um, 
they're not glued down sometimes you get those old envelopes and they're sealed these are not sealed and they're windows and then I have this just stained up uh, thing but what I put in this one is these long um, little page edges I call them page edges or page runners I don't know what you want to call them but they're very long and so because some of your pages are really big in here um, I just decided to make some of those so there is like what four one there's three there's three of those just little clustered up um, pieces of scrap is what they are I was just trying to use the scrap up so okay so let's there is that I think I will just put these envelopes right there okay so there is that and then here is your second signature now this one starting the section second signature is actually a uh, file folder so that is what I used for that second signature to start it and then here is some of that old ledger and I I did put some masking tape on it to to make it stronger here's just a coffee filter that got stained I just was trying to take out junk pieces that I had here's another envelope that I used in the very center and then you'll get this tea bag that opens from the side looks like there's two of them okay so there's two of them and you'll just get a little piece of that flinch or finch um, um, card there and a little layaway part of a layaway tag just some little little scraps there for you to use in the in the junk journal and those go there and you know if you wanted to you could just cut these off and you know even glue that down and have it hid if you wanted to and not use the pocket and then here is of course going the other half so there you are and this actually was in the book it was drawn there I just loved it I didn't cover it over I like it to look original and that is what that is somebody was drawing out some music there uh, because this is that educational music course third reader book and then of course here is your spine just fun fun I added a little tape um, that tape that I uh, like to color there aged because this had a little spot in it and I wanted it to look like it was completely uh, attached uh, I think part of this was missing this right here so but anyway guys there it is I hope that you enjoy these blank journals they're all in the shop um, and anyway guys happy new year and I have some fun little books coming up uh, journals that I've made uh, that of course are, are already decorated. So, but anyway, have a great day and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.